Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. The World Bank is making headlines for a rare turn of events. For the first time, America's nominee for World Bank president faced international competition. The United States has always determined the president of the World Bank, just as Europe has always decided the head of the International Monetary Fund. But this year, surprise challenges by one contender from Nigeria and another from Colombia had many analysts rooting against the American candidate. Both have experience in government and finance, experience the American candidate lacked. In the end, however, the American candidate won, calling into question the legitimacy of the World Bank's selection process and the bank's role in the modern era. The World Bank was founded to allocate post-World War II reconstruction funds. It has set its sights on alleviating global poverty, but global poverty has changed dramatically in recent decades. Once impoverished countries like Brazil, India, and China are now driving world growth. Although they still grapple with income inequality, these countries are major lenders in their own right, lending billions to developing countries that might otherwise turn to the World Bank. Many emerging economies are thus no longer dependent on the World Bank. In fact, it's the World Bank that's dependent on countries like China to fuel its lending. In many ways, the tables have turned. Still, the United States remains the World Bank's largest contributor. Some say it's only fair that the U.S. should have the greatest say in how the bank is run. Others are calling for reform to reflect recent power shifts. Without it, they say, the World Bank is doomed to irrelevance. What do you think? Should emerging economies have more say in how the World Bank is run? If so, what reforms would you recommend? Marlena Sperry wrote this week's Global Ethics Corner. I'm Terence Hurley of Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.